Hello everyone, welcome to Startup Grind. Uh, thanks sir Amar Jafri that you are here with us and it's really amazing for us all to host you. Uh, thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure, it's been a great pleasure. Uh, sir, uh, as you know that the Startup Grind is a global community which is uh, in 650 cities of the world. And what is the mission of uh, Startup Grind? They are connecting people and uh, they are making uh, good connections, networking and uh, they want to uh, connect the startups and the new business ideas and plus the investors and the successful personalities, how, how they did their journey and how they become successful. Uh, so that's why we invited you because uh, you are a very wonderful personality, you are an amazing personality, you are a successful personality of Pakistan. So uh, we would like to uh, ask you some questions regarding your story, your please, successful story. Please go ahead. So please can you share your story with us? Yeah. I was born in Rawalpindi and uh, my early education was in modern school Rawalpindi. Then I graduated from Gordon Goy Rawalpindi. Uh, then I joined the University of Lahore. I did my first master's from there. And from there I immediately came to civil service. And uh, I got retired uh, in 2010. I remained in different organizations and my last organization was FIA. There I ventured into a number of initiatives which are currently running. And uh, that includes the uh, cyber crime wing of uh, FIA which is called NR3C. The a airport system of FIA, which is called uh, IBMS these days, and uh, this uh, automated cards uh, systems and uh, passport systems. So I have been a part of number of retail initiatives in Pakistan. So when I got retired, every retired person think what I should do. So I thought that I should do what I know, and I knew nothing in my life except technologies. So I started a project with the name of E Village. And uh, initial three years, I couldn't understand the dynamics because I never uh, exposed to these situations. Uh, then I read somewhere the famous quote of Mahatma Gandhi that when you go to community, first they laugh at you, then they uh, ignore you, then they fight with you, then you are the winner. So um, I, I, with a lot of patience, I had to bear all these things. But after passing this journey of uh, e, from e-village to e-Pakistan, I am totally satisfied now. And whatever humbly I could do. So very briefly, if I could explain to you what I am doing right now after this 10 years of journey. Uh, right now I am trying to connect the latest technologies with the grassroots. And when I talk about grassroots, it's called development sector. So instead of reinventing the wheel, and to redefine education, health, agriculture, poverty, gender balance, whatever we talk about. I have tried to focus my all energies on SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. So after this journey, I have reached, outreach rather, into almost half of Pakistan through my partner organizations. Universities are my partners, NGOs are my partners, government is my partner. Technology partners are my partners. We have got number of uh, foreign partners with us. And uh, we are into cyber security, we are into latest technologies. So with all this brief journey, I have a message through your program to the people that the basic criteria for development in any country should be to enable the people, to enable them to understand the real dynamics of the global world. You have rightly said that uh, initiatives like uh, Startup Grinds, they are connecting the communities now. So we need to understand the community, the society, the development sector, and all these things would be just a waste of time if we don't understand the technologies. Because technology is a driving force between all human initiatives. We used to live in caves, then we started from the Industrial Revolution and right now we are entering into the Industrial Revolution 4.0. And what is 4.0? It is a complete transformation of what we used to do things before. So it's a good opportunity for Pakistan to work with initiatives like Startup Grants and a number of other initiatives. And old famous quote, think globally, act locally. Yes, we have our own dynamics. We are a, a traditional society. We are a 
family uh, backgrounds we respect our elders uh, we have a total system in which we can uh, we can survive very comfortably if we go out of our system we become discomfort so we have to remain in our comfort zone like good societies good uh, neighborhood taking care of everything we have religious values we have taken up those values also and that is the very fabric of our society if we try to change this fabric we will doing some other mistakes so we should avoid these mistakes while remaining in our own dynamics we should try to adopt latest technologies try to bring best global standards try to invite as many as foreigners here we have got two strengths one is our youth which is almost 65% below 30 years of age and topology of, of our country we are a beautiful country we have a ex- excellent uh, environment for tourism so all these things putting together i am very sure that if we follow the footsteps of sdgs using latest technologies very shortly will be uh, shortcutting all uh, uh, gaps which we had faced in last few years um, as you shared your story uh, uh, behind every successful story there are some things which are hidden and especially uh, is the card hurdles the problems Uh, so can we share the problems you faced during your all your journey uh, with our youth and uh, with the uh, beautiful people who are here with us rada sir i was never trained for the job which i am doing right now my education was different my service background was different throughout my life i remained in law enforcement and policing and blah 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 so i was never trained for it so it was initially very difficult for me but since i had a passion actually uh, this, this story is very old my late mother she was among the first 10 girls guides of pakistan uh, through rana lagat ali and uh, then my my late father he he had a not for profit organization which he started uh, on the desire of qaida of mohammad ali jena uh, as you was talking about uh, can you repeat the thing that you said uh, your mother was yeah was, yeah actually years. actually on the desire of qaisa mohammad ali jena uh, while my, my father was in delhi so my father came to pakistan and uh, on the desire of qaisa mohammad ali jena my father started a not for profit organization pakistan scout association and it was again i must repeat on the desire of qaisa mohammad ali jena and uh, naturally my mother was with him at that time so she became the girl guide in the first batch of girl guide and the chief of that girl guide was big of rana lakhat ali so i am the proud son of a mother of a father who started there so this was my blood you know the day i was born there was a heading in jang rolpindi there is yasun jafri president ps had a son his name was amar san jafri so i am a born social worker now so that was in my blood so i i couldn't work uh, during my service uh, for the cause of uh, my father's ngo so when i got retired so that was a fine blending of my own passion for technologies and uh, something in my blood from my mother and from my father so this fine blend finally enabled me to land on a on a position which is right now standing here i am very really thankful to people like riyan lawala you everybody sitting here and uh, you know this journey i could have never covered if comfortable people like rehan everybody i i can, i can name 200 people <clears throat> from peshawar to karachi so many people and i'm really thankful to all of them that they created an enabling environment around me always always enabling environment with me through which i could perform whatever i'm doing right now uh, so it's a very interesting question uh, for all the public most the persons have some a role model so what would you like to uh, share that who was your role model qaid azam mohammad ali jena i am so impressed with his personality and not even today since my childhood you know that man had some principles you may agree with him you may disagree with him it's a different story but he was a perfect professional he was a perfect person in his own profession and when he decided to fight for pakistan he really made it happen and the very inspiring things uh, which whenever i think i got very emotional he knew that he does not have good people around him 
but he managed them. He never complained in his life. He knew that he was suffering a very serious health problem, but he never shared with anybody. It was known that he had some family problems also, but he never shared with anybody. He knew that people in, on right and left are not cooperating with him, but he never shared with anybody. So he had a mission and till his last breath, he was very committed on that. So that whatever he thought, he delivered. So he is my role model. As you know, uh, now everyone uh, is so much interested in the society, you are listening about entrepreneurship and <coughs> a, a lot of good things happening uh, in all over Pakistan and uh, also uh, the youth of Okara is working day and night uh, with some new business ideas and uh, in our uh, Impact Hub, Kirsten Impact Hub, uh, they, uh, they are planning so good many things. So uh, what would you like to say, uh, how can we uh, make entrepreneurship in Pakistan more successful? To my understanding, entrepreneurship is in my blood. You know, what is Jugaad? Trust you me, I have traveled to more than 65 countries of the world. I do not find anybody more entrepreneur than a Pakistani person. Reason. It is in my blood. You know, hundreds of years before, there was slang here. Slang here. Which says that plow your land first. Second is do business. And the last one is, if you can't do anything, go for a job. Uttam Kheti. Uttam Kheti. Uttam Kheti. Padam Karobar. Nikhat Chakri. Uttam Kheti. Apni Kheti Abad Kuro. You know, whatever SDG is saying now, SDG 1 and 2, same thing. Pro your land. Second, they are talking about entrepreneurship. Karubar. But it's what do you do? Do your business. Nikhat Chakri. You cannot do anything. Do the job. So, to my understanding, we are an entrepreneur nation. You know what, what is failing us? We do not hold hands each other. So this is the only missing gap. Government doesn't hold the hand of the university. Universities are not holding the hand of the industry. Industry is not holding the hand of the unemployed people. It's a complete mafia going on everywhere. Everyone has become the um, victim of, I must say, victim of the circumstances. There is no bullet solution. Nobody can help us except ourselves. So whatever you are doing, whatever everybody in this room is doing, we should keep on doing things. But just hold the hands. If you cannot help the person, even just, 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 just give him some, oh, bug up, bug up, do it, keep, keep, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. This is going to help them. Uh, as uh, you also saying that there's a, uh, a big talent in Pakistan in new business ideas and other things. Uh, mostly the startups are facing uh, funding issues, they don't have investment. And how can you uh, give them a hope where the funding will come from and how they can start their business? Uh, to my understanding, entrepreneur never wait for the fund to come. What is entrepreneurship? Doing things out of box. You know, if we start thinking like funding, I can bring a record. I have never got any funding from anything. Yes, people helped me. My friends helped me. Let me be very frank with you. My people helped me, my relatives helped me, my friends helped me. But I, I never got the formal funding from different NGOs, organizations, even government. So, I think entrepreneurs never wait for the funding. They keep on doing, keep on doing, keep on trying to convince the people, this is my objective, I want to do this. You have to show your sincerity. And you can't explain sincerity. You have to prove it. Your actions should be louder than your words. Everybody is saying, I, I want to do this, I want to do this. Anything small you should start. Whenever I hear a young man that I'll do, I, I'll make the biggest portal of Pakistan. I just stop it. Don't do it. Don't try to make the biggest. Everybody is trying to make the Boeing aeroplane. Don't try to make the Boeing aeroplane. Make some wing, make some component of the engine. Boeing will become itself. Last night, me and the Harvard were discussing that what we are doing. We are 
taxing the aeroplane on the airport. You are not letting it fly. This nation can fly, let me tell you. We can fly. But we are just taxing it on the airplane, on the, at the airport. Nothing, doing nothing. So we need a pilot. We need people who could take it off. And then sky is the limit for the aeroplane. Oh, amazing. So now this is the time for your special message. Uh, what would you like to say? <clears throat> Believe in yourself. Respect your parents. Pray from God. And do your best. That's it. Amazing. So, uh, hope you have enjoyed today's session. And uh, uh, it's really, uh, again, you know, we are so very thankful to you that uh, it's, it's really amazing to host you. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, hope to see you soon with uh, another personality, with another our fireside chat with uh, the, uh, the successful personalities of Pakistan. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.